In this video, I want to explain to you whether you should be using Facebook ads or Google ads. Okay, so if you're running traffic online, right, it does not matter actually what traffic source you use. What matters is you get sales, right? Do you care about the traffic source? Not really, right? You care whether you get sales. So you shouldn't be asking this question, okay? The question you should be asking is where are my customers hanging out? Okay, so for example, if I'm selling this purple water bottle right here, okay, this purple, purple water bottle, does it have demand? Does it have search demand? Are people already uh, finding these products online? For example, this lens cap, right? Are people searching for it online already? If the answer is yes, then for sure, you should be running Google ads, okay? And then if no, if you need to artificially create demand for your products, then you go ahead and run Facebook ads, right? So first ask yourself, where are my customers hanging out? And where are they spending money? Okay, if there's no money in that market, in that channel, then obviously don't run advertising to that platform, right? It's common sense, but people don't understand this. So it's not a matter of whether Facebook ads or Google ads is better. It's a matter of whether your product is suiting the demand of the market, okay? Another thing that I'd like to tell you as well is that Facebook is an interruption marketing platform, whereas Google is a search engine, right? You are going to Google, you're on YouTube right now probably, and so you're searching for a solution to your, to your problem, right? So you're in hunt mode, understand that. Okay, whereas on Facebook, you're scrolling, you're checking out hot girls, you're looking at other things, you're distracted, okay? You're just trying to uh, bypass time, right? So you must understand frame of mind as well and why people are even on the platform, right? So by understanding this, the consumer psychology part of it, you will know what to do. There's no right or wrong, okay? There's another thing that I want to talk to you about where we understand, or if you have ran ads for quite a long time now, you understand that Facebook, there's a testing period, right? And in the testing period, it's, how do I say this? If you're not really good at ads, if you're not good at marketing in consumer psychology in general, right? You're going to go to a very extended cash burn before you start being profitable, right? So it's very, very difficult. And then people say, oh, Facebook is saturated and stuff like that. And then it's hard for them to get to a profitability stage. However, it's just, it takes a longer time for you to go into profit, into the green compared to Google. Purely because Google, people are already searching for the product. So if you are unable to sell to people who are already searching for the product, it just means you suck big time. Make sense? So that is kind of the, 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 the two sides of the coin where do you want to do like profitability and stuff like that? Or do you want to go into, in a sense, a temporary cash burn with Facebook ads, okay? The thing about Facebook and why it's so powerful, why, why a lot of people like it compared to Google, right? Is that you can artificially create demand. Right, so it means that if you want to sell more of a product, right, and you want to drive traffic as fast as possible and scale very, very hard, right, you can do that with Facebook ads, right? The platform literally allows you to create a demand for a product that doesn't even exist, okay? And so that is why Facebook, you can see crazy numbers and stuff and scale that is very, very aggressive up to the top, right? Whereas Google is more of a slow, steady, boring sort of thing, uh, but it's profitable, right? And don't, don't fix things that are profitable. In that sense also, like Google ads, you cannot scale hard because up to a certain point, people stop searching for your product. There's no more search traffic for your product, okay? The only thing that you can maybe scale very hard on uh, on Google, for example, is probably you're going to YouTube and you're going to look like audiences and then you try to scale from there. However, on YouTube, right, you will need um, very good video, okay? I would say, when I say a good video, I don't mean like professional photography, like 4K cin cinema style sort of thing. Okay, the type of video that you need is good marketing and script. Okay, if you don't have a good offer, it's not gonna work. That's why a lot of guys, they, they go and uh, scale on Facebook first and then they bring that content, like they bring their offers onto YouTube and then on YouTube, they absolutely kill it because on Facebook, they are already successful in some sense and they have validated the offer and so that they know people are already buying that and so they're just transporting that situation over to YouTube, right? So, so that is another way as well, okay? Ultimately, on Facebook, uh, if you know anything, right, like Zuckerberg, these guys, they are all very, um, how do I say this, ad account unstable and stuff like that. But if you're not selling anything that's wrong, if you're not doing anything illegal, it shouldn't be an issue, okay? So you don't worry too much about it. What you should worry about is that whether your customer is getting value from your service or product that you're selling, okay? Are your, your shipping times good, etc., etc. right? Are, is your product quality good, right? These are the things that people don't care about. And a lot of these guys, other guys in this space, right, on YouTube or whatever, they, they talk a lot of shit, right? Um, they don't talk about this. Whereas it's like, how do I say this? Like up to a certain point, the ads are pushing and accelerating your growth. 
what will make people stay and continuously buy your products is the product quality, is the customer experience, is 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 how how you they interact with your brand, you know. And people don't, don't talk about this because it's not sexy at all. Okay, so I, I I employ you right if you are if you want to stay long term right if you really really want to do this for a very very long time period you don't want to get stopped out by the market right you're gonna be forgotten you know then you need to think about these things because people like like marketing is only get you gonna accelerate your growth it's meant to bring you customers and it's your 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 decision whether you want to treat those customers well or not if you treat them well they're gonna be repeat customers you're gonna lower your cost per acquisition in in the long time you're building a real brand. And then uh, you're actually doing something with your life instead of just, you know, drop trip, drop trip, you know, all, all the time, you know. So like these are the things you need to think about. And um, I see and hear a lot of people just try to do for a short cash flow grab. Like what, what, like what does that mean? You know what I mean? Like can you imagine, right, you wake up one day and then imagine you make 60k uh, the, the last month or whatever, right? And suddenly with a snap of a finger, because, because of an algorithmic change or an ad account ban, your entire business is gone. Right, do, do, like think about it yourself, okay? Doesn't that sound crazy, right? That's like like going to a job. You like been there for like ten years. Like you, you harness your skills. You have built you up to build yourself up to a certain point, and then just fire you just because um you know <laughs> just because of an ad account ban. Does, does that make sense? It doesn't make sense, right? So that's not considered a real business. A real business is one that that can last a lifetime, a very very long, without without like external forces trying trying to kill it all the time, okay? So these are the things I just want to talk about. And I know it's a bit long, six minutes and plus. But for you yourself, right? I, I know you're hearing this message. I know you understand, right? The traffic source is not the most important thing. Okay, what's important is that you treat your customers well. Um, you do the right thing. And uh, you will grow your company. People will repeat customers from you. Okay, and that's how you grow revenue. Okay, if you need help with your advertising, with your paid advertising, Google ads uh, or Facebook ads, right? Um, you can go down the link in the description and you can book a call with us, okay? Um, if there's anything else, just please ask in the comment section below. I generally will respond quite fast, hopefully. Yep, and I'll see you in the next video.